Thank you very much for joining me on this Saturday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. We had some rain and even storms overnight, Antigua, St. Kitts and Nevis. I wanna get into that and I wanna show you the 10 day outlook. There's about three to four spots that uh, will be developing. We're going to see some tropical storms developing, uh, potentially hurricanes. It is going to get very active. Let me zoom down to this first. Lee is about to make landfall. Here's Nova Scotia, New Brunswick. Here's Maine. Here's the core of this. So this is working in right now. Thank you for leaving the comments across Canada, parts of Maine, down through uh, Cape Cod and New Hampshire. Keep us posted on what's going on. And I put on the wind gust on here. These are miles per hour. I know they're a little bit small, but you see in Nova Scotia right now, some of the winds gusting to about 60, 60 65 miles per hour. That's about 100 kilometers an hour. So everything we've been talking about the last few days right on track. That forecast is holding exactly. The winds are going to get even gustier. That surge really building now in the Bay of Fundy, which I've been covering in the last few videos. So the core of this system about to work in. And as the day goes on, the winds are going to pick up further. Prince Edward Island, even over toward uh, Newfoundland by tonight and tomorrow, some gustier winds. But most of it, New Brunswick, Prince Edward, Edward Island, over toward toward Nova Scotia, even parts of Maine, New Hampshire, down through Cape and the islands. You see some of the gustier winds here over toward, uh, say, Surf Drive Beach and Falmouth. Winds gusting to about 40 miles per hour right now. Some of the gust, as we were talking about, about 40 to 50 Cape Cod in the islands. And here is that rain that's wrapping around. But again, the worst weather off to the east. The center is right here. So seeing this uh, for that potential landfall right into Nova Scotia. Now, there's been generally that weakening trend. So that's what we've been seeing, but the wind field has been expanding. So gusty winds through parts of New Hampshire swinging back toward Portland, uh, so, uh, right up through uh, the rest of uh, Maine. And we're gonna see the bands of rain working in. You may catch some breaks and then you get some more bands of rain working in with the gustier winds, but that landfall should be pretty soon. So within just a couple hours of getting that landfall as Lee goes in, we're thinking of you throughout the day, please leave your weather information in the comments. Uh, let us know what's going on safely, of course. Let us know what's happening where you are, be it in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, uh, back toward Maine, down through Cape and the Islands. So there is Lee. This here is about to become Nigel, and we'll be watching out for stronger tropical waves uh, that will be moving by. And look at a little of this energy right here. Let me zoom down for us. Here's Puerto Rico, U.S. British Virgin Islands, Saba Stacia. We've had some rain around, just a few batches of rain. I was talking about this a few days ago. Jamaica, we had some storms, Dominican Republic, we had some storms. They haven't been widespread, but where you get them, they really pop up. And we had a few stronger storms in Antigua last night. This is welcome news. We really need to get the rain. So little energy, even down through Guadalupe, we'll see a chance of some rain. Now, starting to look ahead, I wanna show you what's next in the hurricane season. This here about to become Nigel, should be just off to the east of Bermuda. Bermuda's really been uh, really in the mix of a lot of stuff uh, this season. The Azores, if you're watching from the Azores, I'm gonna keep an eye on this. Here's Margo as it heads toward the Azores. I'll show you the track further in a second. It is going to weaken some, but we are going to see strong tropical waves coming off, and I do ex expect some development coming in off the coast of Africa. But here's where it stands 10 days from now. Look how active it's going to get. There should be a system here that, again, comes off the coast of Africa, could be a tropical storm, may make a curve, may head into the Caribbean. That's one spot I'm watching. Also, as you get near Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, and the Bahamas, there's going to be some development here. That's because it's the time of year there's some fronts moving by the United States. Sometimes the fronts stall out, something may try to spin up here, and then back in the Caribbean, I expect it to be very active the end of September into October. So I'll be tracking it for you. There's going to be a lot of moisture building here. Something may develop, say, around Jamaica and try to lift up to the north near Cuba, potentially into the Gulf of Mexico. And the key will be high pressure. How strong is this? Does this uh, act as a blocker and just drive these systems right into the Caribbean? That's what I'll be watching. So let me show you this bigger picture. Here's one of our models. This is the American model, which has done a really good job uh, with Lee. So here's now, and I'm going to take you way out in time so you can pick a spot on the map uh, where you are. Here's Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, Grenada, St. Lucia. All right, you get back through Bermuda here. So let me take you into next week and stop it here. See that there? 
That is what is uh, Nigel, or will become Nigel, mainly to the east of Bermuda. That would be some really good news. This spin up here, watching the Azores, Margo, as it heads toward the Azores, it'll be weakening. Some gusty winds, though, but that's also some good news. So there's several spots to watch. This here again, Nigel, and then this over here, these are the strong waves coming off. Most of the models develop it. The American model sometimes makes an area uh, a hurricane, then it shows nothing, and then eventually shows a hurricane again. The computer models keep churning out a lot of data. But these are the spots I'm watching. And what I was just talking about, you see here, Western Caribbean, a buildup of some of this moisture off the coast of Nicaragua, uh, near uh, Costa Rica, and, and by Jamaica. We're going to see a lot of rain building up next week, south of Jamaica, just south of Jamaica. But that catches my attention. Super warm water here. So that's why there may be some development back in the Western Caribbean. And then there's that other spot right there that I was talking about off the coast of uh, Florida and the Carolinas and Georgia. This may also develop. Now, this here is way out in time. It's going to change some. But this is about a week from now, just to give you a feel of what I'm seeing a week from now. Here's that one spot. Something may spin up here, try to lift up to the north. Here we go a week from now, watching the Western Caribbean. A lot of moisture. Something may try to spin up here and lift to the north. And then watching a couple spots. Again, there could be a tropical wave in here that develops into a tropical storm, trying to shoot closer uh, to uh, the Caribbean and more strong tropical waves coming off. So point being, you can see a week from now, very active, the very active finish to our September and leading into October. There's going to be development out there and there will be development close to home, which is always a concern because things are going to spin up pretty quickly because of those very warm water temperatures. But I'm on it for you. And then taking a week and a half from now, this is by next Tuesday. There's that spot that's trying to lift up to the uh, north, watching that near the Yucatan of Mexico back through Belize and Cuba. And then you see here, whatever tries to develop here may try to work its way out a little bit closer to Bermuda. We'll be watching Canada again, northeastern uh, sections of the United States. And then over here, there should be a few tropical waves that may march in in the potential that a tropical storm gets closer to the Caribbean. So plenty to track. Here's what we're tracking now with what will become Nigel. It will become a tropical storm later today and officially get a name. Right now, it will develop into a hurricane. It should be just to the east of Bermuda as we get into the upcoming week, watching that for Bermuda. And this here, Margo, that'll spin back toward the Azores, and I'm watching across the Azores. It looks like it'll weaken, which is good, but there will be some gustier winds back through the Azores. So we are ripping through this uh, list this season. We are above average as far as name storms go. There's been plenty. Uh, there's been uh, plenty of major systems that have been impacting a lot of us. Of course, Lee, Margo, Nigel, uh, the names out there. Ophelia, that is the next name on the list, and I showed you several of those spots that may develop into that. Now, we get a look here. There's been some of that rain, Costa Rica. El Salvador, some of the rain, and then we get over toward the ABC Islands, uh, way too dry. But there's that little spot there, Antigua, Barbuda, St. Kitts and Nevis around Montserrat. We've had some of the rain and storms overnight. Thank you for leaving those uh, comments. So as we go through the day, better chance of rain, Panama, Costa Rica, Northern Colombia, Elsewhere, it'll be spotty. Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico. Could see a hit or miss shower back through Cuba and through the Bahamas. It's not widespread, but a pop-up shower will be possible. Then by tomorrow afternoon, this is our Sunday afternoon. Nicaragua heads up. We're going to see that rain chance starting to build. There's that moisture really filtering in over here. And then still here, not a lot of action, but a spotty shower storm. Trinidad and Tobago may get one or two that will be passing by on our Sunday. There's just not a ton of moisture, but because of the heat, I mentioned that heat dome in place a couple videos ago. Because of the heat, if you do get a storm, it could be on the strong side. As we work our way into Monday, generally the same thing. But look at this. That rain is starting to build in the Western Caribbean. Watching that closely, just south of Jamaica. Out here, we've got Tropical Depression uh, 12. This area may develop a little bit, but in the Eastern Pacific as a whole, no major threats to land. So the rain chance, there we have it. A little bit higher today. Still some rain around St. Kitts and Nevis in Montserrat. Rain chance will drop drop off. Antigua Barbuda, we had some of the rain. This already uh, worked out. Uh, we'll see a chance of a shower or storm over the next few hours, possibility of that. But you get toward Trinidad, super dry, just way too dry. Grenada, same thing. Rain chance about 20%. Swinging back toward Barbados, rain chance 20% today. May get that passing shower. St. Lucia, 20% chance for today. 20 to 30% chance in Dominica the next couple days. 
40% chance of some scattered showers and storms today in Jamaica. 10% chance St. Vincent and the Grenadines, not a whole lot. Uh, minimal rain chance this weekend. Puerto Rico, this is mainly afternoon stuff. And of course, we have been so hot in many locations. Rain chance holding at 20%. British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Guilla, about a 10 to 20% chance through the weekend. Isolated showers and storms right across Belize, ha uh, Belize Hopkins, Ladyville, Belize City. Could see a passing shower storm. Bahamas, passing shower 30% chance for tomorrow. St. Martin, Saba, Stasia could see a couple showers this morning. Uh, we have some of that action around. Keep me posted in the comments. Yucatan of Mexico isolated shower storm. So nothing widespread. Cayman Islands passing variety through the weekend. 20% chance Turks and Caicos today and tomorrow. Haiti again not a lot of rain but if we get a storm it could be on the strong side passing shower or storm. 40% chance right through the Dominican Republic where we could get some stronger storms that could lead to some isolated late at flooding this weekend. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire were going to mainly be on the dry side. Just not a lot of action moving in. Guadalupe, rain chance a bit higher today. A 50% chance of scattered showers and storms. Martinique, we could get a passing shower. A 70% chance on Costa Rica, Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua. We're going to see the rain chance building, as I mentioned, uh, in the Western Caribbean. We get back through Guyana, though, as we work our way uh, here over towards Suriname. Rain chance very minimal. Isolated showers and storms. North northern Venezuela, northern Colombia. So waiting on a new tropical wave coming off the coast of Africa. I do believe that will develop watching many spots out there in this tropical wave could eventually move into the Caribbean. I mentioned off the coast of Florida, there could be some development. Western Caribbean, there could be some of that development. And of course, thinking of you with Lee impacting Canada, parts of Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts. Uh, leave those comments. Let us know what the weather is around you, and we'll get we'll be watching that throughout the day. That's why I do this channel. It's a weather community, so everyone could kind of share in what's uh, going on with the weather where you are. Uh, until I see you again, I hope you have a good day ahead, and stay safe if you're being impacted by Lee.